Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Joy. I've missed you guys. I know it's been a minute since I've uploaded, but I'm gonna catch you up real quick. Um, while I'm catching you up with what's been going on in my life, we're going to detangle this hair together. It has been two weeks since I have washed, deep conditioned, detangled, all that jazz to this hair. So we're gonna get into it, okay? So if you're interested, please stay tuned. All right, so as you guys can see, first of all, I should let you know this is a new setup. Um, I don't know if it's dawning on you yet, but I have moved. Yes, I'm so happy. I'm so excited. This new season of my life, I'm just so thankful for, and I'm definitely enjoying it. Um, as you guys know, I'm teaching in a new district this year, so I decided to just embark this new journey all together and move out, and I'm very happy because I have a lot more room to take care of what I need to take care of. I'm just dividing my hair right now. I have so many clips. Guys, fun fact, it's literally 9.30 at night. I don't even care, like, this is my pamper time. I'm soaking it up for what it's worth, because today's Friday, and this is like the only time I have to do my hair, so. But yeah, I'm just sectioning my hair. So I know I look crazy, but bear with me. So to detangle my hair, you guys know before I start my wash days, I've got to infuse my hair with some moisture in some way, shape, or form. And for the past few months, I have been making my own DIY detangler. This is a bomb pre-poo. Like it's really good. All it's and it's so simple to make. All I do is um boil two cups of water and I add two tablespoons of like slippery elm and one tablespoon of marshmallow root. And sometimes I switch it up. Sometimes I add two tablespoons of marshmallow, marshmallow root versus one tablespoon of the slippery elm. It just depends on what my mood is. And it's just, it's such a flexible recipe. You can add essential oils to this. It's completely up to you. But I put my pre-poo all the time in this um, applicator bottle so it's just easy to distribute. But anyway, you guys are no stranger. If you've been watching my videos, you know I love to pre-poo. Everything's set up. But yeah, I this year is going really good. I love my school. I love my students. I love my students regardless, like last year. I love them as well. But like this new season is just different. Like I love it for all it's worth. And I'm so thankful for just this new start over, you know? But um, yeah, I really, this year's going really good with teaching. Um, as you guys know, I'm at the high school level and I teach Spanish. <laughs> yeah, I actually teach Spanish. I teach Spanish one and two. I freaking love it. I loved it last year as well. I just needed a lot more support because I was getting my you know, I was just getting my um, self comfortable with the profession last year, you know, but I learned so much last year that this year is going a lot better. And I have a lot of support at this school, so I'm very thankful for that. Something else that I really love at this school, my aunt is actually the assistant principal, so yeah, that's a huge, huge blessing. Oh my gosh, my hair is snagging a little bit. Anyway, <laughs> this year is going very well. Um, yeah, I just, I have so much fun with my students and they are learning Spanish. Um, yeah, I just, I love it. And there are times I do wish we were in person, but I know for the safety of everyone, it's best if we remain virtual right now. So. Yeah, this section is really easy to detangle. But yeah, um, actually today, this weekend, today's Friday, so this weekend pretty much marks the first month I've been in this apartment. It's been really nice. I really love 
the environment. Um, everybody's really nice. My neighbors are always walking and they walk by and say hi to me. And it just, it feels like a community here, you know? So I really appreciate that. Um, one of the things that I was looking for in an apartment when I moved away from my family was a nice, quiet environment. Um, and also um, an apartment that has wood floor. I do have wood floors here. So yeah, I may do some videos of me decorating because I love DIY projects. I'm very artsy if you guys didn't know. So I definitely plan to, you know, do something that's up my alley for um, decoration that, you know, personalizes my taste. Yeah, it's, um, school has been going great. Um, yeah, I've, honestly guys, I really have been keeping my hair in protective styles. Um, today was the only day I've had it out. Well, actually, since yesterday. But still, I keep my hair in protective styles because that's just what suits me and my lifestyle. But yeah, I love protective styling. Um, I usually, like, I've been doing a lot more, um, cornrows, so, like, right after I wash my hair, I just let it sit for a day like I usually do, and then I put in, like, cornrows, and I've been loving that style so much. It just, it gives me a good break from my hair, and after a week of keeping cornrows in my hair, I've been just doing twists, and those two protective styles for the two weeks have been serving me so well. If you guys have never made your own crepe, well, I highly suggest that this is literally so easy to make. And I've saved so much money. Like, I'm, I love making my own products because the longer my hair gets, I don't gotta worry about like conserving product. I can literally just use what I need. And that is always up my alley. Yeah, guys, I'm just, I'm really happy, you know, and I'm, I'm thankful I can share this with you. But, um, yeah, I'm going to take you through my wash day, just so you guys can see. I'm still doing the same thing. But I just really just wanted to catch up with you, you know. So what else is new? Oh, I wear glasses now, and I know I don't have them on right now because I'm doing my hair, but I do wear glasses. I think they're super cute, and... Yeah, I just, I love it. I feel like it's a good addition. And they're definitely helping me out since I'm virtually teaching. Like, I'm on the computer all the time. So, yeah, I went to get my eyes checked. And he told, my doctor told me I was um, farsighted. So, yeah, we had to get something to correct that. Guys, I can't tell you enough how much I look forward to paying for days. Like, I love the once every, the, like, the one weekend I have once every two weeks to just do my hair and relax. I love these weekends. I love doing my hair. I love just embodying the whole moment with like hot tea. I have some hot tea over here. Um, I just, I love it. It's some really good me time. So yeah, you guys let me know, have you been like pumpkin picking? Have you been getting out a little bit more even though we're still in quarantine? Um, I haven't went apple picking or pumpkin picking yet. I want to, but yeah, I haven't been yet. Um, yeah, I've definitely been like goo goo gaga for like all the pumpkin things that are like pumpkin coffee, pumpkin pie, spice creamer. You know, the hot teas. I love hot teas so much now. Oh my gosh. And um, I'm actually going to be doing a video for you guys on um, something that I have been loving. And I think I'm starting a collection of this item that I'm going to display it to you guys. Like, I'm a teacher, so I love simple things. <laughs> 
And I'm going to show you what one of those simple things are in another video. But I'm getting my collection together of it. If I can be honest, I don't even know why I'm twisting my hair because I'm getting ready to legit wash it. Even though it's late, I'm going to wash my hair because I'm going to deep condition overnight and then just rinse it out tomorrow to style. I'm just trying to soak this time up for what it's worth. Like, virtually I teach Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. Um, in my district, we have Astronomist Wednesdays. So yeah, that just gives us teachers a chance to decompress and catch up with grades. And um, we can go to workshops, different things like that. Or, um, you know, we can just relax. And for the students, obviously, it's a good time for them to relax because we're, we're not really allowed to assign any work to them, so. But yeah, guys, I had to get settled with moving in, and I was still teaching, so it was a lot of planning I had to do to get settled here, but all in all, I would definitely say moving in was such a breeze, and I owe it to planning. Like, I'm a huge planner, and it came in clutch, like, especially during the season of my life. Like, everything worked out very smoothly. I'm just so thankful. Because, like I said, I teach, and I just, I didn't have the time for something to fall through, you know? I still love this pre-poo so much. Shed hairs are literally just falling out. So yeah, we'll have to know what you guys are doing with your family. Do you have any plans for Thanksgiving or Halloween? Actually, tomorrow's Halloween, so I'm not planning to do anything, though. I'm just trying to get done with grades, and uh, my brother and my dad might come over tomorrow to just hang out, so yeah. Just to let you guys know too, I usually um, do my whole shower routine now in the um, shower just so I don't like mess up my bathroom or anything because wash days can get really messy for me.
Alright guys, so I got one section, well, a half of my head done, <laughs> and I'm gonna um, just twist it up and continue with the other half. Alright guys, so you just saw me pre-poo my hair um, with the DIY detangler with the marshmallow and um, slippery elm. Now I'm getting ready to cleanse my hair with the Soul Tangles Shea Uvetic Butter Shampoo. You guys have heard me talk about this shampoo a lot. Um, if I can be honest, it's not my most favorite shampoo. It's definitely not my top five favorite shampoos. But I have so many of them and I really want to use them up. This one is just about done, so I have actually another one on standby if I run out. But I'm gonna get ready to use the shampoo. And also to deep condition, I'm gonna be using the Soul Tangles Manoy Moisture Slip Deep Conditioning Fertilizing Dab. I really love this deep conditioner, and since I'm not the biggest fan of this shampoo, I thought I'll kind of balance it out. Um, I just really want a moisturizing wash day, and yeah, as a whole, both products are from Silk Tangles. This is going to be a whole Silk Tangles wash day, pretty much. So, if you're interested, just take them. So if you guys have not seen my previous video, this shampoo is very unique. It's pretty thick and you definitely have to scoop it out of the container like that. So yeah, it's, it's pretty thick. She's pretty thick. I'm just putting it on my hair. Yeah. 
This is jogging back a lot of memories. This shampoo really doesn't lather. Um, it's not stripping, it's just, it doesn't have the most slip, and I do look for slip in my shampoos, so, yeah, that's why I'm not the biggest fan of it. I'm remembering why I don't like this shampoo. I'm using quite a bit of it just to get a lather so I know my hair is clean. But I mean, once again, it does feel good. I just don't know if my hair is clean, that's the thing. All I'm doing is unraveling the twist. y'all can see I'm running the shampoo down my hair. I'm just dividing my hair in half to better concentrate.
guys, welcome back to my channel. This is the following day of me using the Manoi Moisture Slip Deep Conditioning Fertilizing Dip by Sultanicals. This is a really good deep conditioner. Um, if I can be honest, initially applying it, I don't remember using it that um, well, so I thought it would have a lot of slip. But when I was applying it, I felt like I was having to add a lot. Like I literally used this whole container pretty much in one session as you guys can see like that container is pretty much empty now so it didn't deliver as much slip as i thought and i haven't used it in so long that's why i was like i just went by the name but obviously um just because the title says something doesn't mean it's going to deliver it but i mean nonetheless i do feel like my hair is moisturized i left the deep conditioner in overnight and i'm so ready to rinse it out um my hair does look pretty clump. It looks pretty good. It's just, um, I don't know, the parts of my hair in the front that are a little bit more harder to um, define. I just, I don't see that this deep conditioner like really moisturizes to the point it wants to start like forming. Like I know how my best deep conditioners make my hair feel compared to this. This is not my favorite Soul Tangles deep conditioner, but it was still good. Like, I still feel like my hair is moisturized. Um, but anyway, I'm going to get ready to rinse it out. I'm going to show you guys how well it rinses out. And you're going to see me also apply the Soul Tangles Not Sauce Coil Detangler. I'm really trying to start using up my stash, and this is literally almost done. I might be able to use it today, use the rest of today. So, yeah, this is going to be my leave-in. And, yeah, when I'm done... Um, I'm just going to leave it in for about a day and then I'll style my hair. So yeah, I'll show you guys the process now. I'm going to work in one section at a time. So as always, you know I work in sections. Um, so the deep conditioner is still in the other three sections, but I'm starting with this quarter of my hair. I'm gonna get some of the Soul Tangles Coil Detangler. Probably don't even need that much, but I love this detangler so much. Like it gives so much slip, it's ridiculous. I'm going to divide my hair. You guys know me, I try to trap in every bit of moisture I can. So as I'm applying the leave-in, I'm going to be twisting my hair to just lock in that moisture as much as possible. I love this detangler. Like I still have um, shed hairs coming out, like the little, the, whatever's left of my shed hair is coming out. So definitely doing its job and you don't, really don't need a lot like this is literally how much I'm using per second and yep all I do is twist it up so I'm going to just continue with the other parts of the section. I'm really happy I don't have to use a lot. Like, the 
this is literally not to me use. I literally just came across a knot, so it just, it reassures to me that that deep conditioner just, it, it isn't for me. I know a lot of people like that deep conditioner, but just, it's not the best for me compared to some others that I've used. But thankfully this leave-in is so slippery, it's helping me get any and all nuts out and shed hair. This leave-in is so good. Like, it's so lightweight. It distributes so well, once again. If you guys have seen my previous video on this leave-in, you know how I feel about it. It feels really good, very slippery, moisturizing. You can feel like a good punch of moisture is going into your hair. Right after deep conditioning. So I'm done with one half of my head, and I'm getting ready to do the other half. I'm just going to clip this up.
All right guys, so now I'm done applying the leave-in. As a whole, this wash day was really good. I would just say um, for the deep conditioner, I would just tell you to try it and see if it works for you. There's a lot of people who love that deep conditioner. I would definitely say it's not my favorite Soul Tangles deep conditioner. My favorite Soul Tangles deep conditioner is probably um, the Afrotastic Curl Elastic deep conditioner. That's a really good deep conditioner by Soul Tangles. Um, yeah, this one, along with the Shade Ginger deep conditioner, I don't know what it is with those deep conditioners, but my hair is just like, no. It, and I've used them multiple times, and each time they're just like, no. So, um, the Healthy Hair and Hibiscus deep conditioner by Soul Tangles is also really good. So, if you guys are looking to purchase some items for, um, like Black Friday or Christmas, I definitely suggest the Healthy Hair and Hibiscus deep conditioner. The infamous Afrotastic Curl Elastic Deep Conditioner. Um, yeah, those are really good. But anyway, yeah, this is all I'm going to do. Um, my hair is twisted. I'm going to leave these twists in for probably about a good day. Probably tomorrow I'll be um, actually styling my hair for the next week. So all in all, I really think what drove this wash day home is obviously the Not Sauce Coil Detangler. This Coil Detangler... It does not get the hype it deserves like it gets some hype but i feel like it can get more because it's so slippery and you rip once again i can't stress it enough you don't need a lot of this especially if your hair is soaking wet if it's soaking wet you're working with the product to help it distribute throughout your hair and yeah i've had this bottle for a while and i still have some more so yeah i'm telling you guys this is the best this is one of the best products Soul Tangles offers, in my opinion. Of all the products I've tried on my channel, this is definitely one you guys should try. But I hope you guys enjoyed this wash day. Please give me a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe and feel free to comment what you guys are doing for the holidays, how you're winterizing or making your routine different as the seasons change. Because it's fall now, so I know a lot of people are starting to implement um, oils, things like that. I am um, on the hunt for a really good penetrating oil that's not going to sit on my hair. So I'll keep you guys updated about like what I conclude with that. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.